What's going on, y'all? We're here at another Adventure Vehicle Expo, the Southern Overlanders Conference. Just got the camp set up, so I wanted to give you guys a little tour. Me and Ray are competing on videotaping right now. He's right there behind me. Here's our vendor booth. We got some new legs for the Easy Up. As you guys might remember, we uh, kind of got destroyed down there in Stark, Florida at the uh, Adventure Vehicle uh, Expo down there. So got a couple new legs for the Easy Up. Oh, that's looking good. Um, we also came a little bit better prepared, fortified our defenses a little bit for our camping setup. We've got the solar panels hooked up. So that's powering our uh, power bank. Uh, you can see there's a little cord running back there. Of course, the trusty Rome Adventures portable awning. I'm supposed to get down in the 20s tonight, so kind of got a little bit more well dug in. Ray's got his plaid blanket. I got my grandpa's Korea War Army issue wool blanket and another sleeping bag. Some uh, some tables, so this is going to be pretty cozy. Uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of a better tour of this uh, tomorrow when we get some of this kind of cleaned up a little bit but we've got the uh, Dometic of course the camp chef and then Ray's been kind enough to bring this uh, propane fireplace so we don't have to haul a bunch of wood which is something I'm not used to so that's going to be nice to have so uh, we'll be going to get something to eat here in just a minute they're hosting a vendor dinner for us uh, the first night so going to go eat some barbecue and uh, yeah we'll check back with you guys when we have some more updates morning y'all it's uh, day two here at the Southern Overlanders Conference. We had some weather move in last night, so we're bundled up, drinking a cup of coffee. It's gonna be another great day here. You can see we're kind of tucked in a nice little valley. Just drinking some coffee, Ray's fixing to cook us some breakfast. We'll get going with the day. Here's a quick little tour of our camp kitchen setup. We got the lodge. Cast iron skillet on the Everest Camp Chef. It's been working pretty good for us. And we have our new prototype kitchen organizers. So we got our spatulas, some different colored knives, steak knives. Uh, you can put a cutting board or towels or something in this pocket. There's all sorts of zip up pockets. So it's a pretty nice addition to the camp setup. This one, actually, there we go. Now it's all put together. Five years. He said, uh, I would love to have my own shot. All right, y'all, we're wrapping up day two at the Southern Overlanders Conference. You might can hear behind me. I've had more inclement weather moving in. I feel like the Energizer Bunny out here just going and going and going. But we had a good day of sales. The rain's starting to settle in, so uh, hopefully this clears out soon. But for now, I'm just going to hunker out down under the easy up, drink a quarter's light, and just chill out for a minute. We got some supper going, so um, if the rain stops, I'll be showing you guys that. And um, we'll check back with you in a minute. So uh, yeah, there's the easy, or sorry, the electric smoker, uh, Cuisinart tailgater type deal. We got that running off the solar panels. We got some baked taters and a little bit of ribeye steak on there. Uh, we haven't put a steak on yet. You see it right at 353. We'll go get a closer look at that here in a minute, but uh, yeah, basically just waiting for the rain to die down so I don't get wet. We've also got Starlink internet up there, so we got full Wi-Fi that's running off solar, but it was a pretty good day out here, and we're just waiting for the rain to clear out now. We got Defiance tools across from us, and the Iron Man, here's our booth, so doing pretty good. Been bumping a lot of shoulders and just uh, meeting a lot of new people, making some industry contacts, passing out business cards. So it's been a great day all in all. So we'll see what's going on for supper. We'll probably cut the video off there. We're gonna go have some beers and hang out and just shoot the shit with some of the other vendors. And uh, that'll probably be about it for tonight. And then we'll check back with you guys tomorrow and we got another update. Getting a little video showing everyone what's going on. We're having the tailgater. Uh, Ramen and beef jerky. For Ramen you. and beef jerky. I like it. Sorry, Corey. Sorry, Corey. You're missing out, bud. Enjoy your uh, ramen noodles. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Text our coworker, Corey. 
He was uh, at home snoozing, having a few uh, bowls of cereal, watching Cartoon Network while we're out here in the sticks. We're drinking water. Drinking water. All right, here it is. A dinner for two at the Rhino USA 10. Steak, baked taters, and Caesar salad. Good morning, y'all. Sun's just starting to peak up through the valley. It's gonna be a great day today. Looking at some favorable weather finally. We had a hellacious storm come through last night. 40, 50 mile an hour wind gusts and uh, lots of rain, lightning, fire and brimstone. So didn't get much sleep. I'm on a third cup of coffee today, but that's all right. We're still gonna have a good day. Plan for uh, the agenda is to check out some cool rides. There's a lot of rooftop tents and overland setups to look at. And we might do a prison tour. And I know they got some trail rides, which unfortunately I probably won't get to go on because I'll have to help Ray hold down the rhino booth but um yeah working the show circuit you kind of got to take uh give and give and take trade-offs you know compromise and whatnot on what you can and can't do the spectators they can just run all day and go on trail rides and vent, go to the vineyard village and all sorts of stuff but we're kind of tied down to one spot which is fine you know it's still fun to network meet other people we got the bfg guy and uh, camped out next to us and iron man 4x4 is also up there so we've been hanging out with them and uh yeah just wanted to check in with you guys last night we went up to uh the prison had some uh, liquor tastings up there they have a moonshine distillery here so we uh we tried some uh frosted orange that was pretty good butterscotch that was good too and they put on a little live music there in the hall for us too so that was fun so i'll loop a couple of pieces of that in so you can get a little feel for what we were, we're doing off hours but uh other than that, we're going to be walking around, looking at some rides, and uh, yeah, I'll check back with you guys in just a bit. So for breakfast this morning, we got corned beef hash some hot coffee courtesy of our Mueller French press Ray's Mueller French press that is but uh, it's a pretty nice setup here definitely not wanting for any food this weekend all right we got our buddy Daniels booth over at Outland Motor Works see the Rhino USA trash bag on the back of his truck and they've got a really nice uh, awning and rooftop tent system that's their product that they sell you can see it here this is their 270 with one of their hard shell rooftop tents. And they've also got a really nice kitchen set up. They've got an oven here. We're eating biscuits and gravy off that this morning. Blackstone. Little camp table. Really nice setup. This wind is killer though. Surprised everything hadn't blown away. Got our friends over at Trucks. They do a bunch of racking system. Ben over there, the owner. Real cool guy. Got some uh, F-250 action here. These guys do like SEMA truck builds. Their other build is uh, over here. Nice Duramax on some big old tires, big old lift kit. 14 inch drop. They've got the rooftop tent up there as well. All right, so these guys, they've got an 80 series Land Cruiser. It's got the winch, a little bit of a lift on it, some bigger tires, but it's a pretty clean ride all the way around and a snorkel. But the real star of the show here is the uh, CK kit they've got going on. It's got an air mattress, a 12-volt refrigerator, and then the really cool thing is it's got a full kitchen. So you've got a two-burner stove, Dometic water pump, you've got a sink for washing dishes, you've got camp utensils there, and there's a 15-gallon stainless steel water tank in here they also sell a shower kit so you can plug a camp shower into there and it's just a really nice setup for a compact overlanding okay y'all we got a really cool beer build here i just wanted to show y'all what's going on it looks like a jeep you think it's kind of just a chopped up jeep but it's actually um it started out as a 48 model 48 yeah 48 model jeep 
and um, they had it built back in 2001. It's got a Toyota 22 RE motor in it. It's a Chevy one ton axle. They've got PSC steering in it and it's just such a cool build. They've got a T18 made to do a Dana 300. Really, really cool. And I'm sure there's plenty of suspension travel to go around. See, look. Tanner, this is what you need to do, bud. <laughs> My buddy's got one of these. Oh, a solid axle swap. This thing runs circles around yours, bud. A really cool Humvee setup. Some big old military tires. Looks like a H1. Rock sliders, whole nine yards. Decked out for an overlander setup. We've got the snorkel. Fubar edition. Hey pups. A cool death row bus. I forgot to mention this is actually up at the Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. You can see it over there in the distance. But it's, uh, I don't even know what it is. It's got some really cool pinstriping though. Looks like they chopped the top down a little bit. Brushy Mountain State Pen. The paddy wagon. For lunch today, we're having some smoked chicken wings seasoned with meat church, honey hog seasonings. Got the Cuisinart smoker going. It's gonna be good. Looking good. All right, here we go. Taste test at the uh, <laughs> meat church, honey hog barbecue rub. Drop it in. Pretty good. I'm a little smoker. What do you think, Ray? I think we're living large. We are living large. Corey, you're missing out, bud. This yeah. wing's for you. Oh, yeah. Wash Smoke it down wing. with the America's oldest brewery. Smoke wings and beer. Mm -hmm. Wish you were here. <laughs> All right, y'all. Just finishing up day three here at the Southern Overlanders Conference. We had a good bit of high winds. I was hoping that wouldn't have been the case, but uh, that's just the way it shook out. So just uh, had a good day of sales. Gonna get a little bit of supper, have a few more yinglings. Ray's cooking up some pasta dish with a little bit of Italian sausage. So that'll be good. But yeah, it's just been a good day. Kind of slow today. We've just been mainly hanging out and uh, meeting a few new people, networking, eating chicken wings, drinking beers. So uh, nothing wrong with that. It wasn't the best sales day but it was still a lot of fun just hanging out here got a cool backdrop behind me and i don't think that i mentioned this in any of my previous clips but uh this is actually brushy mountain state penitentiary so this was an active prison for a while uh james earl ray the guy that assassinated martin luther king jr was actually imprisoned here he escaped but they did catch him um so just a little bit of an interesting history for y'all you can see the old watchtower right there behind me just a big old looks like a chimney some sort that has a little guard platform but very rustic very cool kind of uh old school early 20s penitentiary vibes going on here so not somewhere i'd like to spend a lot of time but for a weekend it's all right so uh yep there's the event grounds behind me darkness is settling on the valley here we're gonna be hunkering in because it's gonna be a cold one so we'll uh go see what ray's cooking for supper and um probably just crack open a bottle of liquor, have some drinks, and that'll be it. We'll meet you guys up in the morning. All right, y'all, it's the morning of day four, fixing to get packed up and head back home. You can see the prison behind me. It's been fun, but our sentence has been served. We're ready to get back home, have a hot shower, and uh, sleep in a warm bed tonight. It was about 28 degrees tonight, so it was pretty cool. Um, so, yep, gonna get the trailer packed up, break down camp, and uh, 
Get ready to head back to Georgia. So here we have some classic examples of a Tennessee still. This one's got a thumper for cooling the liquor before it comes out. You can see it's like a three pot setup. You got the boiler, thumper, and then a coil. This one just looks like a basic two pot setup where it comes straight out of the sill into a cooling barrel and then out the bottom as you can see, but kind of cool. Just uh, a little bit of rustic hillside scenery. So here it is, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. A lot of guys were locked up in here at one point. You can see the old watchtower over there just kind of crumbling to pieces, but the old barbed wire and the cross on the hill still stand tall. So here's one of the coolest rides I've seen the whole time. This is the Brushy Mountain Correctional Institution fire truck. Pretty old school. You can see it's got the old BF Goodrich rubber hoses on it. Some chrome and bezel dials. Cock and Shock in Pennsylvania is where some of these were made. So pretty cool. Got radiator cooling, throttle. There's probably a big diesel engine behind here. But I just love those gauges. Look at how they have those cool little ends on them. And you just don't see American engineering like that anymore, but let's go check the front of it out. Y'all know I'm a big Chevy guy, so this is just right up my alley. So, thanks for watching. Appreciate y'all tuning in, and uh, see you on the next video.